video I'm gonna share a recipe for this grilled or roasted corn. I shared a quick video on my Insta stories and a lot of you asked for the recipe. So I'm gonna share it today. It's a long weekend here in the US and we're grilling up. So we put some corn on the grill and I figured it's a great time to share the recipe with you all. So if you wanna see how to make this really simple and delicious roasted or grilled corn, keep watching. So I'm gonna do the quick roast corn and um, you'll obviously need some corn. I have some organic sweet corn from Costco. So just make sure it's washed and everything. I have some butter and I like using the Kerrygold Irish butter. You can use any kind of butter that you like. I have some hot pepper that I chopped up. These are scotch bonnet peppers. And this is some um, shadowbenny or bandania, also called culandro. And I also have some cilantro in there too. And lots of garlic. And you'll need some salt and some black pepper. <laughs> There's barely any in here because we've been using it a lot, but that's fine. That should be enough for it. So to make the sauce, I'm just going to mix everything together. And I'm going to pour the butter. I'm going to crack some black pepper. And I'm going to add some salt. This consistency is good because I'm going to brush some on the corn while it's cooking and then I'm going to toss it in this sauce when it's finished cooking also. I'm gonna brush it with the sauce we made. And throughout the cooking process, you'll wanna brush it a few times, but save some of the sauce for when it's finished. See why I told you to make the sauce thick, the thicker you make the sauce, the better it's gonna stay on the corn. If you make it too watery, it's just gonna slide off. So the heat was a bit high on this side. And we pop in popcorn. <laughs> so because the um, heat is so high, it's not going to take very long. Don't forget to keep back some. So this is how we like it. We just like a little bit of charring, not too much. I don't like when the whole corn is roasted. So we're gonna take it off now.
Kevin is brushing on a little more of the butter sauce. And a great tip is if you have the husk, like if you buy the corn with the husk and everything, save the husk and you can wrap it in the husk and grill it. Or what you can do is if you have a barbecue and you're saving this to guests, save the husk and save it in the husk. So that way you don't have to waste like paper plates or anything. Just a little tip for y'all. So remember when I told you all to reserve the extra sauce, use that sauce when it's finished, brush it onto your corn and serve it that way. It's kind of the same way how I make my boiled corn, when it's finished boiling I use the same butter mixture to um, brush or to mix into the corn. So it's really hot still, but I'm gonna bite into it. You can see all the seasonings. And it has butter in it, but it's not like leaking. It's just, it's soaked up into the corn. So I don't like when it's too roasted. This is good enough for me. And like I said earlier, what you can do is, you can save the husk, and if you're having a get together while a lime, use the husk to save it. So you just place it back into the husk and, um, your guests can just pick it up like that. Mm. So good. Corn is not very clean to eat, it's very messy. <laughs> Maybe if you cut these into smaller pieces, it'll be easier to eat. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave your comments, questions and suggestions in the comment box below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of every single video that I post. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.